Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to generate random numbers in Java. These numbers can be uh, integer numbers or float numbers. These numbers can also be in specific range. So first let's open the NetBeans IDE. I have here NetBeans uh, IDE version 13 which is the latest version at the time of this recording. First, I'm going to create a new project of type Java application. I'm going to call it uh, demo. In this uh, demo class, I'm going to create a method In this demo class, I'm going to create a static method called method1 and in, the, in this first method of uh, generating random numbers, I'm going to use the uh, random class. So this is how you use it, random, rand equals new random and this is creating an instance of the random class and then I'm going to create a variable called uh, upper bound equal to 25 for example and then I'm going to generate my uh, random numbers sorry my method here is outside of the demo class so I need to remove it from here and put it inside the demo class like this okay and I'm going to need to import the uh, java.util.random class here Okay, next I'm going to generate three numbers or two numbers, one integer and one double. The way to generate an integer is like this, int int uh, random for example equals to rand dot next int. And the way to generate a float or double number is the same way, double. I'm going to call it double random equals to rand dot next double. So it's clear how this is going to work. Rand dot next int is going to give me a random integer that is uh, less or equal to 25 and rand dot next double is going to give me a double that is less or equal to 25 as well. I can also uh, use this random class to generate uh, random boolean numbers or float numbers same way float float number equals rand dot next float. Now let's print out these uh, numbers and see what their values are. Print so let's try this. Let's uh, show the random uh, integer number generated from this uh, uh, method rand dot next int. So if I run this, as you can see, the random generated number is really big, and the reason for this is is that I did not pass this upper uh, bound 
to the next int method. So let me do that and put a space here and run this again. And as you can see, now I get a random integer number of 14, which is between 0 and 25. Let's do the same with the uh, double and float. So here I'm going to say double. And I'm going to pass the upper bound variable here this time I got 8 for integer and 22.51 for the double number if I do the same with the float random number so here it's going to be float number Let's run this again. And this time I got 20 for integer, 15.87 for double, and 23.10 for float. And the way I call this method, method one, in the main uh, method is just by doing method one in my uh, main method. Another way to generate random numbers in Java is by using the math.random class. So let's do this in a different method called method2. I'm going to need two variables, one minimum. and one maximum let's print some text let's say random value from main to max colon and then this is a capital S and then I generate my random number, let's call it random int equals math.floor of math.random times max minus mean plus one plus mean and let's convert this to an integer and then let's print this and let's call this method on the main method and see what it's going to give us so I'm, I'm expecting to see a random integer between 10 and 60 and as you can see I got 23 I just need to remove this print them to have the number on the same line 
and this time I got 52. So this is another way of generating a random number. So this is what I wanted to show you in this video. You have two methods of generating uh, random numbers. You have this method using the random class and you have this method using the uh, math dot uh, random uh, or the random uh, method in the math class. I hope this video has been helpful for you and thank you for watching.